An estimated 8,000 children are treated in emergency rooms for falls every day, and many accidents are preventable. Trauma surgeons at Mayo Clinic warn parents to supervise children at all times. Always strap babies into seats and carriers, place baby gates at the top and the bottom of stairs, and be sure that playground equipment is age appropriate. Keeping children away from open windows is also important because screens do not protect against a fall. Well, when a child gets sick, it affects everyone around them, but one family doesn't dwell on the what ifs. Instead, they find ways to lift their spirits. Lori Burkholder reports. Why don't you tell us what speed we're going, Abby? It's not that unusual to see this family go on walks with fancy carriages. Decorated with butterflies and fairies, it's a float for Abby made by her pap pap. Hey, I'd do anything for her. This, by the way, isn't his first float. That was the Cinderella carriage. And that was, that was a chore. <laughs> Each year, Ron Bennett makes a float for Abby for the annual Great Strides Walk for Cystic Fibrosis, something Abby has and those who love her deal with. Abby, give Pat Tough. Knowing uh, what she has. I painted this one. Abby is doing great um, with her CF. Um, you know, she does a lot of medicines, takes a lot of medication, but that keeps her healthy. The signs are made, the float is ready, and this team of angels won't stop until a cure for CF is found. Our goal is that, you know, her life expectancy will be, you know, average as, as her sister's is. Are you the magic princess? Yeah. Yeah. What a story. Well, the Centers for Disease Control have confirmed a death from loss of fever. It's a viral disease rarely found in the U.S., but common in West Africa. The CDC reports the patient became ill after returning from Liberia and then in isolation when he died. Experts say the risk to others is very low, but all close contacts of the patient will be monitored for 21 days. It's only the sixth known case of loss of fever in travelers returning to the U.S., since 1969, the virus, which is carried by rodents, causes similar symptoms as Ebola, but is less likely to be fatal or spread from person to person as easily. Still ahead for us, we'll have another look at your evening weather planner. Stick around.